What's up YouTube? 12 Virus here with another video and I just realized also on top of that that I forgot to give my rating because I haven't been doing that very often. <laughs> I literally just started it the last review <clears throat> but in my review for the Janimba I forgot to give my score and in my opinion Yes, he's older, so the articulation ain't really there, but in my opinion, he's probably a 9 out of 12, in my opinion. But anyways, today's video will be my top 12 figures list that are in my collection. There's not really much rhyme or reason for it other than how much I like the characters, it's not really much about the figures themselves because some look better than others. Um, some have more articulation than others. Some are designed better and all that stuff. So it's not really a matter of which one has the better articulation or which one looks better or which one this or that. It's more or less sentimental value and on top of that it's just the way the character is or how happy I am to have the figure or stuff like that so anyway let's start from the bottom with number 12 which is of course the new edition Janimba because like I said I'm super happy to have him so he is my number 12 just because nostalgic reasons I always wanted a Janimba figure in my collection and wondered why they never actually made one. So that's where he comes in. So sit him back there for number 12. And then number 11, of course, is this SH Figure Arts Super Boo, which I'm super stoked to have. He is the best looking Super Boo figure ever made. And he's just all in all, a spectacular figure look wise and also um, the articulation is amazing but just I love Boo always had and it was amazing how he could absorb people and their abilities and their powers and all of that so Boo definitely a great figure definitely a great character and definitely amazing to have in my collection and then Number 10 is the Jax Ultra Super Saiyan Goku because at, whenever I was younger seeing Goku go Ultra Super Saiyan in the hyperbolic time chamber was just amazing so to have a figure of it is even more incredible and it just captures that memory and they nailed it to a T especially the coloring of the skin right there so you can tell it's the way he wore the armor as opposed to, you know, just a different version of the Trunks one that they did. Which is basically all it is, just repainted. But still, it means more that they actually painted that skin color there. So, of course, he earns the number 10 spot for me. And then, number 9 would have to be the... Dragon Star Super Saiyan 4 Goku just because of the fact that they nailed it with him and he's really the only Dragon Stars one I have on this list. Jiren was at number 12 but then whenever I got the Janemba kind of bumped Jiren out of it because I just like Janemba way more and I know that once the SH Figure Arts Jiren comes out That'll probably put the Dragon Stars one to shame because that one, they didn't do all they possibly could with him. He's still a great figure, but he's not as great as they could have made him with how they're improving. So, I think the SH Figure Arts one is definitely going to beat him. So, had to replace him with Janimba. But, anyway, Super Saiyan 4 Goku makes my number... Hold on, I got to count. Nine. Because just, they nailed the paint, they nailed the look of him. They nailed having the hand for instant transmission, the tail. They just all the way did, all the way around, did amazing with him. 
So, super happy about that. And then, number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 is, of course, sorry guys, sometimes I have to count because I lose track. So, number 8 is Grade 8 Baby Vegeta because he is just amazing and a monstrous figure. Probably the largest one in the collection. And I remember having, you know, him on GT fight Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And it was just all the way around amazing. And the paintwork, they did great with him. And the sculpting, he's a really light figure, but really incredible. Just the way they did the paint and everything. He turned out amazing and looks amazing, so I'm definitely happy to have him. And most of these figures are actually on my list are SH Figure Arts, so kind of stinks, but I really like the SH Figure Arts. So sometimes, though, I'll have to just make a strictly SH Figure Arts list, top 12, and then a strictly um, Dragon Stars list. Top 12, and then maybe a Jax or Erwin or something. I'm not sure. But I know I'll definitely do SH Figure Arts and Dragon Stars. Um, Dragon Stars probably wait though until the newest wave comes out with Android 18 and the Broling and the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. But, anyways, continuing moving on, we got the Great Saiyan SH Figure Arts. I have him without the helmet on, so I have the Goku head on him. He is up here because all of the accessories he came with, multiple heads, um, cape that was removable, he came with all that good stuff, and he's definitely on here because of nostalgic reasons, because as a kid, like I said in the review, that I wanted the Great Saiyan figure with the Gohan head and wearing this outfit, because that was an amazing moment when the um, headband kind of flew off and then sunglasses and he went was going Super Saiyan. Well, he still had sunglasses on at first and he was going Super Saiyan. It was just an incredible moment. So I definitely always wanted one and then never was able to get my hands on the one that they did make. But it didn't come with a removable cape or anything. So just to have him, of course, he's up there at number seven. So then moving on to number six, we have, of course, the newest edition, the SH Figure Arts, Gogeta. I have him with his base form head, and he's up here because Gogeta is definitely a nostalgic character and an amazing character because, you know, fighting Janemba and then they finally... Made him canon with the Broly. So that's amazing. And to have him with a base form head is even more amazing. Yeah, they could have had Super Saiyan head, but base form works too. Because I always wondered, you know, with the movie, why Gogeta never actually did his base form. But it was always assumed by me that is because the strength of him just couldn't go base form. So, anyways, there he is at the number six spot. And then moving on to number five, we have the SH Figure Arts Goku Black, which is just a phenomenal figure. He's definitely a great character on the in the anime, and then. On top of that, he looks beautiful and absolutely stunning. The head sculpt for the hair is just incredible. And then the sword is amazing as well. And the fact that he came with two heads, of course, base and then Super Saiyan Rose is just incredible. And I love him. And I'm super stoked to have him. He's got a little bit of dust on his back. I need to get a closed-in shelf, but 
yeah, he definitely had to be up towards the top. And that's why he is number five. Because he's just an amazing figure and looks great on the shelf. And then moving on, this is kind of, not really a cop-out I guess, but kind of is, is the Super Battle Collection Gohan and Goten. They came with interchangeable Super Saiyan heads and they are up towards the top and at the number four spot because they have dust in the hair. No, it's because I do got to clean that out. But it's because they all they came with interchangeable Super Saiyan heads and Goten's Super Saiyan looks amazing. And Gohan has removable glasses. But of course, you know, you remove them, you got a big hole in his head. So that kind of stinks, but it's not really a major thing because I like him with the glasses. But they are up here because as a kid, I remember going to a flea market and... I saw them and wanted them more than anything there. I wasn't entirely sure who they were, but I saw the package and it said Gohan and Goten. And it confused me as a kid because GT wasn't entirely out yet. So I was wondering why Gohan and Goten kind of looked like this as opposed to how they did in the Boo arc. Or no. The Boo arc may not have even existed yet. It may have been the Cell Saga, so I didn't even know who Goten was, maybe. But I remember wanting them at the flea market, but couldn't afford them, so I waited until quite a bit later on to ask for them from my aunt, I believe, and that's how I got them. And so, of course, super fond memories of them and wanting them. And then finally getting them and being super happy to have them. So there those two are. Put them over there. And now we move on to number three. Number three, of course, is the newest Super Saiyan Blue. Well, the SH figure art Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. He's amazing because the color, the hair sculpt, the body, just... Everything about him is just incredible and fits so well. And on top of that, he also is the first Vegeta that I know of. I'm pretty sure he is of the SH Figure Arts that has interchangeable heads with him. Which is just incredible that they finally did that for Vegeta. And that one of the heads was actually Super Saiyan God. So... Super happy to have him, and he's an amazing figure, so that's why he's at number three. And then, moving on to number two, is of course the new SH Figure Arts Broly, full powered Broly, the Dragon Ball Super version, because he is way more amazing. It was between him and the other SH Figure Arts. Um, legendary Super Saiyan Broly got tongue-tied tongue -tied there for a second so it's between the two of them and of course I like the new design way better just the hair it's not a, as trunksy feeling as the original the original had more of trunks hair and then of course where they gave him the big feet to make him stand better that makes him even more amazing because you don't have to really mess with him to get him to stand. You just kind of, he stands. The other one you kind of have to, every time you stand him, kind of push his feet down, make him stand. So, of course, this one came at the number two spot. And I just, like I said, I love the new design. He's just absolutely amazing and so bulky, but not too bulky. He's just, he works amazing. Incredible. And then, of course, number one, you might have been able to guess it, to have guessed it, maybe not. I'm not sure. He's definitely my favorite figure to my collection and took me forever to get him. And I'm never going to let him go. Number one is Jack's Omega Shinron. Just because he's so incredible, such a big figure, so heavy, and... He's just 
a super memorable character, one of the main villains of Dragon Ball GT. So, I love him dearly. And they did so great with the sculpt. And everything about him is just on point. And of course, mine though is missing a spike. But other than that, there's nothing major negative about him other than, you know, that I wasn't able to get him with the spike. But all in all, he's flawless in my opinion and definitely deserves the number one spot just for nostalgic reasons and all of the articulation they had with him for that time. And he's just an amazing figure and definitely, definitely my number one. Always will be and always has been except for you know on a SH figure arts list or a Dragon Stars list he won't be number one because you know there are none of him Maybe one day there will be maybe one day this whole list will just be SH figure arts for favorite figures in my collection But right now definitely quite a bit of SH figure arts, but not all and I don't see that ever happening Unless they make an Omega Shinron and make him as good as this Jax one. Which they may do or they may not. Only time will tell though. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you all, you know, what all were my top 12 favorite figures. And make a list about it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. This has been 12 Buyers. Signing. Out. Well out now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.